Hey everybody, welcome back. Right now I want to talk to you about the date add, date diff, and time zone offset functions. So I got two date pickers. I got date picker one, and then over here below that I have another one called date picker two. And let's start off with the date add function. So here is the syntax for the date picker, or the date add. Let me go ahead and wipe this all out. And let's start with the IntelliSense, and this will kind of give us some help and let us know what's going on. So we've got date add, and the first thing we need to do is provide it a date as well as the number of units. Okay, so the date is going to be date picker one dot selected date. Now the number of units, so again, this is a date add function. So units. It's not very clear, but it will be clear when we add the third parameter. Let's just choose an arbitrary number of five. Now when we do the comma, that's what the unit applies to. Is this five a unit measurement of days, hours, milliseconds, minutes, months, quarters, seconds, years, blah, 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 right? So you tell it what you want to do. If you want to do an increment of five days, you choose time unit is days. And so then if we look at the output of this, if we take February the 28th, add five days to it, we're going to get March the 4th. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Just know that you can do that for all of those time units, not just a day. Okay, here in this one, we're going to look at the date difference, and we're going to say the difference between the 28th and the 29th is one day. So all you do for date diff is provide it the first date and the second date. Now, I could have hard-coded these dates in. It really wouldn't have much mattered. Just making sure that you use the correct syntax to make sure that the date time is not a text or a number. It is, in fact, actually a data type of date. This is where this uh, previous two or three videos have been very important because you need to make sure that these operations are done on dates. And the easy way to do that is make sure that the selected date is of type date. And that would make sense because that's what this control does. It allows you to pick a date. Okay, so that being said, this is a very straightforward uh, um, you know, function here. Again, it is the date diff, so that is in days and it's just gonna figure out the difference between two particular dates. So as I change this to, I don't know, we'll go ahead and time warp here, uh, April, June 13th, okay. So between February and June 13th, there is a 106 day difference between the two of them. All right, let's look at the last and final function. This is the time zone offset. So this one gets a little bit possibly tricky depending on how well you know about UTC time and, and everything like that. Now, as of the date of this recording, where I physically am, I'm in the eastern uh, time zone of the United States. And the difference from UTC time, which I believe is out there somewhere in Switzerland, wherever the UTC is uh, zero at, uh, the, the offset between there and here in minutes and that's what this gives the time zone offset let's go ahead and do this like this so it says the date to which to calculate the time zone offset okay and it returns the time difference between the UTC time and the local time so that's why I told you where physically I was located at in the US because this is very important because it's going to do the offset uh, again local time zone in minutes so from you know where I am currently to where UTC is, there's 300 minutes. Now, below here, I have the same formula that I have as you see here, but all I did was divide it by 60 because there's 60 minutes in an hour, and then that gives me the hours offset. So while this is in minutes, usually people think of it in terms of hours, so you'll probably just have to divide it by 60 in order to get a five hour difference. You may get a fractional. I know there's certain places in India uh, like Mumbai, for example, or actually most all of uh, India is, I believe, in the same time zone. But uh, folks over in India, there's a it's a weird half hour, 30 minute offset. So it's like four and a half hours difference between uh, my eastern coast time and various times in India. So don't always expect this to be a whole number, I guess is what I'm trying to say in my point. So that is it for this video. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.